Our MBL reporter Megan Stamper is there now. And Megan, how did these two teams match up? Well, Dane, tonight was going to be an interesting matchup because Shelby's offense has been averaging 458 yards per game this season, and Philo's defense has been stingy, just allowing six and a half points per game this season. So something had to give, and tonight it was Philo's defense. And the Philo players were pumped up and ready for this semifinal regional matchup against the Shelby Whippets. But it was going to be Shelby who struck first. On the first play of the game, quarterback Brennan Armstrong finds uh, receiver uh, Devin Brooks for a 22-yard gain in the first down to move the chains. So they're marching down the field later on that drive. They're deep in Philo territory. And that's Uriah Geisler with a uh, first down catch here to set up this touchdown run from five yards out for Devin Brooks. We heard his name all night long. He takes it in from the left pylon there. Puts Shelby up 6-0 after the point after was no good. So Philo's first drive stalls. Shelby with the ball. And Other teams are in a do-or-die situation. Gridiron Glory's host Joseph Hayden is live at Rudder Field for the matchup between Athens and Nelsonville, York. How will this game affect playoff spots? Yeah, Rachel, I'm here at Rudder Field now ahead of this big Athens-Nelsonville-York game. There's about 30 minutes to kick off, and I promise you, when they do kick off, this place is going to absolutely be rocking, and here's why. This is a huge game. The winner of this game wins the TBC Ohio Championship, and hey, if that didn't mean enough to both teams, if you're Athens, you really need to win tonight because if you don't, you don't get into the playoffs. If they lose tonight, their chances of making the playoffs are pretty much done. However, for Nelsonville, they pretty much already have a, at least a top two spot locked up in the playoffs. So tonight, a huge game here in the Plains for both teams. But this isn't the only huge game we have going on in the area. In Jackson at Holzer Field, it's the same scenario. But this one's for the FAC Conference is in Nelsonville at the Ohio Smoked Meat and Barbecue Festival and temperatures are looking nice out there. Josh, how's it looking? Rachel, I think we both can agree that it's beautiful out tonight. A perfect day for the 21st Ohio Smoked Meat and Barbecue Festival and it's a great time for people to enjoy some good food and some good company and that's exactly what about 500 people did today and what another 1,200 plan to do tomorrow. We've got 43 competitors and 16 vendors from all across the country setting up right now for this nationally recognized festival. And tomorrow, these competitors, they will compete with each other to produce the best grub and have a chance at $10,000. Rocky Outdoor Gear Store is funding the event this year. So right now...